Welcome back to Retro Tech. Today I want to talk about how to discharge a monitor. Now the first thing you want to do when you try to discharge a monitor is make sure that the monitor is unplugged. And then you need to make sure that you have a good tool to discharge your monitor. Today's episode we're just going to look at how to make that tool, what you need to make it, and how you can put it together so that you can safely have a discharge tool in your toolkit when working on CRTs. So to make a CRT discharge tool, we're going to need a few things. The first thing we're going to need is a screwdriver. The screwdriver I'll be using is this screwdriver. It's nice and thick and heavy. It has a four inch length from the tip to the handle. And it is a clear plastic, so I can actually see the handle in there. And I know that it won't conduct any electricity past this metal. Now, the next thing we will need is some electrical tape. So we've got our screwdriver, flathead, our, rec our electrical tape, and then the last thing is a length of cable. This cable came from an extension cord that uh, was no longer in use, that still had a good section of it, so I cut off two foot of it, about 24 inches. And then, as you can see here, I've stripped down the wires to where it's just the black wire on each end. And that's the wire I'm going to be using since it's nice and thick. And shield it again down here. I'm going to use it to make my discharge tool. And making a discharge tool is really simple. You're just going to take the end of your cable here and twist it around the edge of your screwdriver. I like to do it up here closer towards the tip so the electricity doesn't get any closer to the handle. So that just like that, just twist it around a little bit over like that. And then you can take the tape and just tape around that connection. And you see this is going to be our discharge tool. Let's talk about it a little bit. See this point here is going to be inserted in to the back of the CRT tube where the anode cap is. And the electricity is going to go down from here that's stored in that tube. It's going to hit our black cable. It's going to travel through this cable and to that end. And this end is going to be connected to a ground point on the monitor. And then the electricity will go from there through this ground cable to the ground point and discharge and the current will be gone and there'll be no current left in our anode cap or our CRT tube. Since there aren't a lot of CRT discharge tools you're going to be stuck having to try to come up with your own solutions and this is not a solution I came up with it's a very common solution for this job. There are specific tools that will do it but again you'll have to look for them specialty and order them and then you can buy them but they're essentially doing the exact same job that this one does please stay tuned for a future episode where we will actually use this to discharge a monitor thanks again for watching retro tech please like share and subscribe